Hello, math geeks and science nerds. My name is Alex. I'm from alexpleasehelp.com. I'm going to show you how to draw a true pentagon using only a straight edge and a compass if you just have a pencil and paper. You need a compass and you need a straight edge. It doesn't have to be a ruler. You don't have to measure anything. You only have to have something that's straight. So, first thing that you do when you want to construct a pentagon with this method, there's a couple of a couple different methods. I like this one the best because there's the least amount of steps. First thing you do, you put a point on your paper in the middle. Then you draw another point. Then you draw a circle between them. This is your starting point. You have this big main circle, two points so far. You need to find the vertical and the horizontal center lines. So first you draw a line between the points that you have already and the center line. That's your vertical center line. So and then you put a point where the center line intersects the circle, and then you find the perpendicular bisector of the vertical center line. So you draw a circle from the bottom point up to the top point, and then you do the same starting at the top point down to the bottom point. You zoom out a little, you can see what I'm talking about. And then you draw a point where the blue circles intersect. I'm drawing them blue just so you can tell the difference on your paper it'll all be the same color. You draw points where they intersect and you connect the lines. Now this method involves a lot of line drawing so when you get your points and you draw the the absolute critical lines you can erase the lines that you don't need anymore which is what I'm gonna do because there's gonna be a lot of lines and speaking of which I recommend if you haven't done so already blowing this up to full screen mode because there's gonna be a lot of lines and you can't see them very well unless you blow it up to full screen or hit the HD button down here. So, now we have our horizontal and vertical center lines. The next step is to find the midpoint of this radius right here. So in order to do that, we have to put a point where the horizontal center line intersects the center line. Oh, it intersects the radius, excuse me. So, we have a point right here. So then we draw a circle from that point to the center of the main circle, this red circle, and then we create a perpendicular bisector that intersects the radius at its midpoint. Point there, point here, bisect it, put a point. Now that we have the point here, we can erase these construction lines, the red ones that I have drawn here. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of erasing. So we have a point here, and then we have to draw a line from this lower point to the center one. First we put a circle here, I'm skipping ahead. Draw a circle from that midpoint of the radius to the center of the main circle. Draw a line that connects the lower point to the center of that new circle and extend it all the way through. It has to extend all the way to the edge because we need a point that goes right here. The next step, draw a circle from this lower point on the main circle to that new point that intersects that small one and this line. Right there is the radius and if you zoom out you can see what I mean. This circle has a center at that lower point. But now from that circle it intersects the main circle at two points. We put a point here on the main circle and a point here on the main circle. These are the first two points of our pentagon, or the second two, rather. The first point is this very top point. So now that we have the two points on the main circle, we can go ahead and erase these other construction lines. And we don't even need the center lines anymore. We have the top point, the first point, and the second point. We only need two more points to construct a pentagon because it has five points. So since all of these sides are going to have the same length, we can draw a circle that has a radius from this new point to the top point and it's going to intersect on this side at the same distance because the radius is the same all the way around the circle. So we draw a circle there, a circle there. They intersect the main circle at two points. So we put two points. And then connect the lines. Ta-da! A pentagon. And to show you that this is actually a pentagon, I put these angles here 
to show you that all of the internal angles are equal. They equal 108 degrees. And that's how you construct a pentagon. Hope that was fun. I'll have this uh, little interactive applet on my website so that you can play around with it so you can see that I'm actually not fooling around. I'm uh, not trying to make something that doesn't actually work. And you can download the file. I'm using a program called GeoGebra. You can download the file and play around with it if you want at the bottom. Enjoy.